Hi everybody, this is just an update on my oyster mushroom bucket grow. Um, I haven't touched these buckets, I haven't even been inside the greenhouse for probably about a month. And I've just been like, just like looking through the door to see if there was any sign of mushrooms in that time, but just recently well right now we've had about four days of rain and it's triggered a flush of mushrooms this is about the eighth flush and there is a lot of mushrooms on here a lot there's heaps I don't know maybe about a kilo oh look at all that down there so many mushrooms. One stack, that stack there. That stack's not doing as well. More here. I'll see if I can get around the back and see what's on the back of these stacks. I should have, I mean, I've just been so busy with work because I work full time. The mushrooms don't get as much attention as they should. But this is the eighth flush, so yeah. I was reading some information, it said that. Oh, look at all that down there. Oh. And this is the back of the stacks. It's like... So many mushrooms on there. That's insane. And this is the eighth flush. This is probably the best flush out of the whole lot. But yeah. I could just put more effort into this. And probably have a light, nicer mushrooms. Probably a bit more. But yeah, it's still summertime here. What triggered this flush was the temperature dropped. And it's been raining for about four days straight. So yeah. Like inside the greenhouse doesn't actually get any rain in here. It's just the humidity in the air that's getting in here. And yeah, so that's a big flush there. But what I was saying is I've read a bit of information about mushroom logs and they said that they can last two years. So I'm gonna try and make these buckets last two years. So far it's got eight flushes of them. I mean that's a lot of mushrooms on there at the moment. Some are better than others, but that's just the way it is. Um summertime here and also what yeah I think once we get closer to, to autumn the conditions will be better for mushrooms and yeah we should get some better results but we'll see we'll see it's just a theory at the moment you know so what I do with these mushrooms now is I harvest them off Make sure the holes are nice and clean, there's no mould around the holes and the mushroom can really look after itself from there as long as you keep the holes clean and free from contamination. But in the greenhouse here there's no bugs get in. So there's a few crawling insects that get around on the floor but none of the flying insects really get in here too much so there's like I find that the flying insects, once they start landing on your mushrooms, that, that makes a lot of um, problems for contamination, but if you can keep the flying insects out, then you're pretty safe from contamination. <coughs> but yeah, so... Just a matter of keeping the holes of the buckets clean and 
when you harvest, make sure you harvest all the stalk out because if you leave a little bit of mushroom flesh in there, it can rot and can just go mouldy. But you can clean that out like in the buckets. It's pretty much solid mycelium on straw. So it's um, very effective at fighting off any mould or anything. But yeah, so quite surprising. Probably about a kilo maybe or more of mushrooms today I'm going to harvest. And I'm going to sell them. These things sell so easy. Depending on what price you put on them, obviously. Like some of them here, I'm in New Zealand, they go for about $60 a kilo. Wow, which is a lot. I don't get $60 a kilo for mine, but I just kind of auction them off at whatever price goes. they go for, they go for. I'm trying to get to a stage where I'm not loading buckets of straw all the time. All I have to do is come and harvest, which has been successful for eight harvests. Um, all I have to do is just maintain a clean environment and the bucket's health. So the bucket is like a whole plant and you're just keeping it healthy and it'll keep fruiting. So yeah. Next year, I'll probably add some straw to the buckets. I'll probably just like push it down, just compact it down a bit and like that'll leave a gap at the top to add a bit more fresh straw in and I'll just colonize that. And then it'll fruit again from there. But yeah, so I want to harvest these and sell them. And yeah, just keep going. So yeah. Any questions, drop a like, drop a subscription. I mean, might be two years of uh, harvesting before I have to change these buckets out. So yeah, subscribe and see how it goes. It's a long time to wait, but. Be worth it. Thanks.